Hi, my name is Rose Cowan. I'm Macy Fisher. And I'm Haley Watson. And we're here to teach you how to mix concrete and perform a proper slump test. The definition of concrete is a heavy, rough building material that can be spread or poured into molds that harden and form a stone-like mass. When you're making concrete, you will be mixing together four components. Water, sand, aggregate, such as gravel, and Portland cement. Portland cement is a mixture of ingredients that bind and set the sand and aggregate through chemical reactions. When you're mixing concrete, it's important that you wear safety glasses. Portland cement is caustic, and which will burn your eyes, and it's important, or it's important to not get aggregate in your eyes. When mixing, the ratio of aggregate to sand to cement is an important factor in determining the compressive strength. The more water, the weaker the concrete mix, and the less water you use, the stronger the concrete mix will be. For this video, we're going to be using packaged concrete mix, so all we need to do is add the correct amount of water. However, a rule of thumb whenever you mix cement, sand, and gravel together is one part cement, two part sand, and three part gravel. As you can see, Macy's cement is very runny, whereas Haley's is much less runny. After you're done mixing your concrete, it's important to perform a slump test. It's easier to determine the workability or the water to cement ratio and consistency of fresh concrete. It is used to check it's also used to check its uniformity. There's a few pieces of equipment you will need to perform a slump test. First, you'll need your mold, a non-porous base plate, a ruler or a measuring scale, and a tamping rod. First, fill your mold with prepared concrete mix in four equal layers. After each layer, tamp, tamp the layer to ensure that the mold is packed correctly. Then, raise your mold slowly in a vertical direction off of the slump. Then, you'll measure your slump, which is the difference between the height of the mold and the high point of the concrete. As you can see, Haley's, Haley has very little slump, very little difference between the ruler and the high point of the concrete. This is known as um, very low, we have very low workability. This type of cement is generally used for things such as road construction. Macy's slump, on the other hand, has collapsed. This indicates a very high water to cement ratio and very high workability. There's too much water in this instance. Thank you for watching our video, and I hope you learned something about mixing concrete and the correct way to perform a slump test. Thank you.